Hi guys, uh, in this uh, video I'm going to show you a shrimp pattern that I just came up with this uh, morning. It's uh, going to uh, be a rather quick video because my camera is uh, all fucked up and uh, does not allow me to <laughs> make videos any longer than 10 minutes. I could uh, just cut together many sequences of this fly tank, but I don't really know when it cuts off and it's just a lot of work, so I'm not doing it. Well, to begin with we'll make a little bowl out of a SLF uh, dubbing, and the color Peacock. Then we are using this scary color SLF um, <laughs> It is really bright As uh, we are using it as a trigger point uh, But as a mouthpiece This shrimp is not really realistic I like realistic uh, flies a lot but Sometimes it's just fun making something else. So we put this tag and tie it in on the top, double it over and tie it hard down like that. I'll take a little bit of this uh, peacock uh, dubbing again. and just wrap it around over there. And then we take our scissors and we taper a little bit there and a little bit on the top. You don't really need much of this um, tag material because it's, it's really bright. I don't know if you guys see it, but it's really, really, really bright. So, there is our trigger point. Uh, now we take two CDC feathers. We'll just tie them in as, as we do with all soft tackles. Like that. And uh, it's enough with like uh, three turns, something like that. And do not tie them in like uh, touching turns. Tie them in uh, with maybe uh, one millimeter um, between the, the wraps, like that. Secure it, tie it in, cut off the excess. Fly looks very, very chaotic right now, but it will be better. Moist your fingers a little bit, drag the, the fibers a little bit upwards and tie all the way to your last dubbing point. Give it a little brush like that. Looks awful right now, I know. Can make it a little better for you guys. But you really don't have to do this because this will vanish under the rest of the material. Uh, material. Uh, now it's time for a little bucktail. It's like 10 strands, 10 to 20, something like that. Not too, uh, not too heavy. It's uh, supposed to be quite easy shrimp to tie. We want the bucktail ends just to go a little bit over our tack. Not too much, just a little bit. Press it a little bit with your uh, thumb just to give it a little spread. 
cut off the excess like that. Bucktail is a slippery sucker, so we give it a little sap like that. You see, I'm, I'm trying to do this as fast as I can, so I can uh, make the whole video in uh, one shot. <laughs> it's stupid, I know, but I'm working on it. We take a little bit of uh, SLF uh, white UV pearl. Give it a go over there. Take our homemade uh, shrimp eyes. I use uh, 050 mono thread for this one. Some black golf glue, UV glue, and some uh, golf uh, varnish to make those. Just give it a couple of loose wraps just to measure them in. Just a little bit shorter than uh, the hook band, the end of the hook band. Like this. Make sure it's even. And make sure they're facing a little bit upwards. Like this. Cut off the excess. Shishu, pine. Just like this. Beautiful. Now we take two, uh, one strand of crystal flash, also in the color of pearl. Just double it over, put it on our like this then it's uh, good to go take a little bit of craft fur white craft fur just to make it a little more fill taper it Loose wraps, cut off the excess, put some tension on your thread, tie it in, beautiful. Now you make a dubbing loop, wax it. Put on your dubbing spinner, put it aside, make sure you've got your slim nice body here. Uh, now we take this um, you can use whatever uh, that is green in in it. Just uh, that it's a little green and uh, maybe a little bit. You guys, I'm going to try something with it. Maybe it makes it even better. If it doesn't, I have to make this video again. Tie those guys in. Spin your thread anti-clockwise just to get those nice broad shape on your on your thread like that now you start folding your 
what's it called whatever it's called it's a little bit slippery so I'll put on some vanish on the back of the fly idea like so cut off the axis now we put on some UV glue it out a little bit just like that now I've uh, prepared the uh, CDC feathers in uh, Marc Pichon uh, tool with a little dabbing which we are going to put in our dabbing loop Spread it out a little bit, not too much. Just a little bit. The point here is we want this to be see-through. That's the whole idea. And we don't need more than maybe three or four wraps. Like that, spin it. Like that, a little more. Brush it. Then you tie it in over the, the wet UV glue. Just like that. Tied off. Cut it. Torch it. And all those wraps are sitting nice and tight. And we've got a strong fly. Throw on some uh, V finish. That should do the work. Brush it. Sap it, and we're done. This is how.